It's been a good while since we've talked about video games here on the channel. Yeah, it's been a month since we played Spider-Man, since you all just want to give up on watching me play it. It's not fun to sit around and watch people play games, Barry. Sometimes a little Biden action will make things fun. Biden action? Yeah, I'm good off of that, partner. Screw Spider-Man. I wasn't even talking about that. Then what were you talking about? I was talking about our console tier list we did a while back ago. Oh yeah, I forgot we did that. I love the NES. It was my jam back in the day, and even now. Bro is really stuck in 1985. Are we going to make another console tier list or something? I thought we pretty much covered everything. Oh, trust me, that video was just the tip of the iceberg. Do you realize how many video game consoles there are? What in the world? I thought the NES was the only video game console in existence. Fucking idiot. What? What? Yeah, there's so many fun video game systems out there that you need to try out, Joey. Yes, let me try them all like Pokemon. Your stupid Biden brain wouldn't be able to comprehend the amount of power some of those game systems have. Oh my God, is it like that one movie, Ready Player One? You know, that one movie with the fancy gaming goggles? Nah, it's not exactly like Ready Player One just yet. But within 10 years, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what gaming comes to. When virtual reality gaming comes to that, it would indefinitely kill every console, even the handheld ones. Now hold your horses there, Towers. All those handhelds will still hold a special place. Exactly. No matter how futuristic gaming gets, nothing will beat holding a PSP and a Game Boy. No, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. Then what did you mean, George? What I mean is that nobody would go back to the OG consoles and handhelds once a Ready Player One type of world is built. We'll all be dead by then, so I guess we'll never know. Y'all niggas will be six feet deep by then, but your boy is going to be rocking them VR headsets and haptic bodysuits getting all the shoddies. All that future mumbo-jumbo won't be as fun as the Nintendo DS. I thought the only video game console you knew was the Nintendo. I just remembered my rainbow unicorn themed Nintendo DS. It was ahead of its time. Ah, uh, yes. I miss drawing on Flipnote. Damn, I forgot about Flipnote. That one frog drawing game or whatever. The drawings and short stop motion flip notes people would make were out of this world. But, but the Nintendo DS wasn't the only handheld out there. There's like thousands of them. All right, now that's just going overboard. There's definitely hundreds of different handheld gaming devices, not thousands. Not only that, but there's too damn many no-name video games consoles as well. Yeah, but focusing on the gaming handhelds, let's make a tier list of some of the most popular and iconic ones. Yes, let's do it. Good idea, Donnie. Well, technically, this isn't Donnie's idea. This idea came from Evans 2001, Amper Sandler and Brandon Ayala, who are our amazing channel members. Oh, shut up, Towers. Let me take all the credit. Nah, bro. Give them credit where credit is due. Shout out to you three for the video idea, and we hope you guys rock with the video. Let's start off the tier list with the OG Game Boy. And just as a reminder, after we rank all these handhelds, we're going to put them all in a bracket-style tournament to crown the king of all handhelds. Which is definitely not the Game Boy. Whoa! What's with the disrespect, man? The tiny screen is garbage. Who the hell wants to play on that piss-colored screen? Um, I do. The screen ain't even that bad, bro. Come on. Plus, it was 1989, dude. The year my dad was president. No wonder why that year was trash. Nothing screams the 1990s than putting your Game Boy in your fanny pack. Oh, those were the good days. I would put chocolate, chocolate chip ice cream in my fanny pack and scoop it out like a spoon with my hands. Shut up about your ice cream. This Game Boy is nothing crazy compared to what we got later to rank. Stop being a party pooper. This was a huge part of so many people's childhoods and memories. All the buttons were super responsive and nice feeling, and there's just something special about hearing the 8-bit sounds from the Game Boy. Okay, I can admit the sounds and music from certain games are nostalgic, but it doesn't cut it. I think Donnie may have a point. Uh, in the grand scheme of things, the OG Game Boy can't compete with what we have nowadays. Whatever, man. I'm putting this in the good tier at the very least because it would be disrespectful to put it any tier below. Now, what about the Game Boy Color Partners? Okay, this is somewhat better and an improvement to the regular Game Boy, but still. This was a very popular Game Boy, and it ran better than the original one. The Game Boy Color has three times as much memory as the original, and of course, the Color LCD screen. It's obviously objectively better than the original Game Boy, so it's only fair if it goes in the goaded tier. Wrong! It should go in the same tier as the original one, since it's only slightly better. But, but the colors are what makes it really fun. Joey's right about that. The colors and designs are real iconic and just clean. This is going on the goaded tier. Screw what you say, Donnie. Blah, blah, blah. Shut it, Towers. 
I'm putting it in the good tier because this is my video. Whatever, fat ass. Before we move on, make sure you subscribe for more content just like this. We're getting very close to 100,000 subscribers, so it'll mean a lot if you subscribe. All right, partners, the Game Boy Advance is next up, and this one is my favorite Game Boy. Why are there so many damn Game Boys? There's a ton of different Game Boys out there, but we're only covering the most popular ones. The Game Boy Advance is back at it again with another iconic design, and this time it's easier to hold and game on. That's why I like it so much. It fits perfectly in your hands, and you can be on it for hours without even realizing it. This is a top-tier goaded handheld since the Game Boy Advance SP is the better Game Boy. This is a beautiful boy. Uh, I mean Game Boy. What the hell? Uh, we all know you like Game Boys without the game, you sicko! I meant to say Game Boy, you idiot! Yeah, sure, man. Anyways, this is an instant god tier because the screen alone is a major improvement and it's rechargeable instead of using batteries. I still have my original Game Boy Advance SP from back when I was a JIT. There's even bite marks on the top corner where the screen is because whenever I raged at the game, I would bite my Game Boy. Oh, wow, that's nice, Barry. But not as nice as becoming our channel member. Our channel members get to watch our videos first and early before anyone else, and they also get these cool money badges and emotes. We'll also create your video ideas, just like how we're doing this one. So become a member by pressing the first link in the description. Now, finally moving on to something other than Game Boys, we got the well-known and popular Nintendo DSi. Uh, but what about the regular DS? The DSi was definitely more popular and superior. There was more versions of the DS, like the DSi Lite and the DSi XL. We're only gonna focus on the DSi and the 3DS, or else the tier list would go on forever. The DS is a very unique, one-of-a-kind gaming device, and the things you can do on it made it so much fun. I still can't get over how people made those incredible-looking flip notes. It blew my my mind. No, John F. Kennedy. Wait, what? John F. Kennedy? Oh, I see what you did there. Haha. <laughs> Even the default flip notes were iconic. On top of that, the DS had some tremendous games like Pokemon, Mario Kart, Legend of Zelda, and Animal Crossing. Hold your horses there, Donald. Did you just say Animal Crossing? Yeah, I did, loser. So what? I didn't know you were an Animal Crossing fanatic like myself. What? No, no, I'm not. Then why did you name the game off? Because it's a popular game, you numbnuts. Sure, man. You're just covering that up because you actually mained Animal Crossing. Hell no, I didn't. I swear on mamas. Just shut up and move on. Stop lying to yourself, Donnie. We'll find out one way or another. Ignoring that pile of vacuum dust, the DSi is going into the god tier. Fair enough, but next up is the iconic PlayStation Portable, AKA the PSP. Ah, uh, yes, I used to watch movies on my PSP. It was so cool. Wait a second, since when can you watch movies on that thing? Since forever. That was one of the best things about the PSP is that you can watch TV shows like Family Guy and movies like Spider-Man 3. It was real fun watching stuff on the PSP while you went on road trips or even plane rides. Oh, wow, that's crazy that a whole movie can fit in one of those tiny PSP Discs. It's pretty impressive and reminds me of the GameCube disc since they were the same size. Oh wait, I just remembered that I play Warzone on the PSP. Huh? Nigga, the PSP can't run Warzone. What in tarnation? Warzone on the PSP? Yeah, yeah. I got so many wins, it's not even funny. I use a Cronus Max and Aimbot. You cheater. You're so trash that you gotta use hacks and you probably got carried by your team since you're dog water at video games. No, I'm not. My video game skills are amazing, especially on GTA on the PSP. Ah, yes. Grand Theft Auto on the PSP really hit different man. Overall, this is an obvious god tier. No question about that. All right, next up is the Nintendo 3DS. Thoughts on this, partner? 3D? Is this really 3D? No way. Yeah, this was more or less a gimmick and not very practical. It was a waste of time and just burned your eyes to a crisp. What? Oh, come on. It was a very, very cool idea, and there's nothing like the 3DS. Sounds super cool, but kind of scary, because what if the 3D comes to life and eats you? It won't eat you, you dumbass. The only thing it'll lead at is your brain, since playing this for hours on end gives you massive migraines. Okay, that's one thing about this DS that was unfortunate. Some people that had medical conditions couldn't play this thing at all, or else it made their case worse. That's unfortunate. But the immersion and depth the games had with the 3D effect was dope. But at the same time, if you move or look at the screen at a certain angle, it would look wonky. Then just buy the Nintendo 2DS, since you can play all the 3DS games in 2D on there. Even worse, what the fuck is that design? That design is atrocious. Yeah, bro, I forgot that thing existed, but I'm gonna put the 3DS uh, in the good tier, since there's really nothing quite like it. Rolling in! What's up, my homies? How's the vibes? Oh, howdy there, Optimus. It's been a while, Mr. Prime. How are you? I'm chillin'. Just been rolling and sparking it up with Snoop Dogg lately. Bro, why didn't you invite me? Now, if you don't stay relevant to our conversation, Optimus, then get out of here. I'll hit you up next time, Barack, but no shot Donald is talking to a prime like that. I can do whatever I please and make you irrelevant, bitch. Well, if you would like to help us with our handheld tier list, feel free to, Optimus. Handhelds? 
Like the Game Boy and PSP? Yes, exactly that. And right now we're on the PS Vita. The PS Vita is very underrated in my opinion, and I think it deserves more love. This is basically a glorified PSP with a touchscreen. The PS Vita is one of my favorites to play. I jailbroke mine and can play literally every PS Vita game for free. Isn't that illegal? Yeah, it probably is. Who cares? Your boy has every original PSP and PS1 game unlocked and available to play. You're a criminal. I'm reporting you to the FBI so they can revoke your Autobot rights. Is that supposed to be racist or something? Don't listen to him, Optimus. I don't blame Optimus because I jailbroke my PS Vita too and I can play Game Boy Advanced and N64 games using those emulators. No way, you can play Nintendo games on the PS Vita? Yes. And that's why the PS Vita is goaded, because after you jailbreak that shit, it unlocks the full power and customization of the Vita. Wait a damn second. How the hell are you able to play a damn PS Vita or any of these handhelds since you have giant robot hands? Donnie has a point. How do you even manage to play on it when it'll just look like a pencil in your hands? All those gaming companies like Nintendo and PlayStation make bigger versions of those gaming devices just for us robots. That's insanely cool, but how did they manage to do that? We gave those companies each a shard of the AllSpark, which enhances their products to a level of extreme functionality, which also increases the size. Does that mean you have a bigger version of the NVIDIA Shield Portable? Nah, that shit is ass. You sure got that right, partner. That's a valid point. First off, the thing is hideous and so bulky. It can surprisingly run Fortnite and Minecraft, but it's really outdated nowadays. Especially since it runs on the same operating system as Android, and Android sucks. Sleepy Joe is right. Android is garbage and Apple is better. This junkyard crap is going in the mid-tier. The Nintendo Switch is next, and I think we all know where this one is going. Oh yeah, that's easy. I feel like the Nintendo Switch is the most innovative gaming device in the past recent years. You feel like a kid again playing all the games on it. Even though I'm trash at Mario Kart, I love playing it on the Switch with my dog, Commander. He always gets first place. Now this insane asylum patient thinks he plays video games with his German Shepherd. Jesus! Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and Among Us are my go-to games for the Nintendo Switch. Among Us? That's a child's game, and you're a robot! Fuck off! Chill out, Donnie. Among Us is fun. Your mom is fun. Donald doesn't know the vibes of playing Among Us at 3 a.m. with the homeboys, or rather, homebots. Donnie seems pretty sus to me. What do I look like, Obama? What now, nigga? Bumblebee and I play Among Us almost every night against Megatron and Starscream, and they suck ass. You guys should invite me next time. Anyways, let's put the Switch in God tier, and moving on, we got the Steam Deck. People may say that this is the Nintendo Switch on steroids, but it's no comparison between them two. But you can play all your games from Steam on this. Actually, some games won't work well on it, but there's over 8,000 games compatible on it. 8,000 is a drop in the bucket compared to the actual number of games on Steam. This is basically a full-on computer that's shrunken down to be a handheld in the same price as the PS5. I say it's a pretty damn good deal. Valve isn't really known for making hardware, so when this came out, people really did question if it would last. It's not as popular, but it does the job. I say good tier for the Steam Deck, and next up is the disappointing PlayStation Portal. Wow, this looks ugly. Why would Sony make something that looks like that? Yeah, I wish they would have made an updated and better version of the PS Vita instead of what this turned out to be. PlayStation fumbled the bag with this one. I bet you that one of my Autobots can transform into a better looking and functioning handheld than this. The fact that this is a streaming only device from the cloud and not a full on unique type of handheld is a nightmare. A nightmare. No Freddy Krueger. This could have had potential, but this crap lags so much, even if I'm in the same room as my router. I was even in space next to Soundwave playing it, and bro is a literal satellite, and my shit was still lagging like Biden during his speeches. Hey, I don't lag IRL. Awful tear for this, and the Asus ROG ally is up next to rank. I like the RGB circles around the thumbsticks. It gives it that gaming vibe. Of course you like those LGBTQ lights. Shut up, bro. You're not a true gamer if you don't got an RGB keyboard or PC. Exactly. I even bought an RGB rig for my truck form. It's a vibe because at nighttime, I'll be going 250 on the dash with those RGB gamer lights. Looks gay. Ooh, I like that. That's a vibe. Nah, it doesn't suit you, Optimus. Just go back to your Bayverse form. Damn, that hurts, bro. So what tier are we putting this one in? Well, this is a surprisingly really good device, and it's actually better than the Steam Deck in many ways. This is real expensive, though. It can run up to $600 to $700, which is crazy. I'll pass on this then, since I'm still trying to pay off my college tuition. The ROG Ally runs Windows, which means you can use this as a PC and a gaming console at the same time. Plus, it has a 120 hertz screen, so if that's not enough for you, then you're doomed. You're making good points there. It also has a sleek design and is comfortable to hold for hours on end, so honestly, I think this is a god tier. All right, now moving on, we got the PSP Go. 
This has the slide pop-up design, which was a trendy design for phones at the time when this came out in 2009. I still use my T-Mobile sidekick. It makes me feel like I'm in the future and playing a PSP while I text people on it. No way you use that ancient piece of technology still? He's ancient himself, so what do you expect? The PSP Go is just a very gimmicky device and honestly wasn't that successful. It was digital only, so that means all the UMDs you had for your PSP couldn't work on it. This is going in the mid-tier and finally the Wii U is last to rank. I'd rather play the McDonald's McNugget handheld than this. What the hell? That's a thing? Can you also eat it? No, you can't. And that thing is made from China, so it's automatically out of the picture. Not gonna lie, that McNugget looks really fun to play on. But we're not talking about it, are we? This Wii U didn't bring anything new to the table and is useless. It's only slightly more powerful than the PS3 and Xbox 360 and not even close to the PS4 and Xbox One. So what's the point? I guess to add more variety for the Nintendo library. I don't really know, but it was a cool idea that didn't become a worldwide phenomenon. I think we should put it in the mid-tier. And right there is the tier list for you partners. But it's not over since we're going to transition into this bracket tournament to crown the king of all handhelds. We're going to remove the Nvidia Shield, PSP, Go, and Wii you from this tournament. But let's get started with the OG Game Boy versus the Game Boy Color. Obviously, the Game Boy Color is the winner here. Okay, moving down is the Game Boy Advance versus the Game Boy Advance SP. The Advance SP is the superior one. The SP meaning superior. Nostalgia could have really won right there, but the DSi and 3DS is next up. You gotta go with the DSi since the 3D destroyed a lot of the Autobot's eye vision. Now moving to the right side, the PS Vita against the PSP. Uh, one has a touch screen and one doesn't. I think the one with the touch screen is better. Oh man, I wanna choose the OG PSP, but the fact that you can jailbreak the PS Vita and unlock so many features makes that one the winner. Moving down is the Nintendo Switch versus the Steam Deck, which is another obvious one. The Switch is moving on, and now it's the Ally versus the PS Portal. The Ally is the true winner right there. Back to the left side, it's the Game Boy Color versus the SP. The SP is the winner. On the right side, it's the Vita against the Nintendo Switch, which is a hard one. Ah, bruh, this really just depends which company you like more, either Sony or Nintendo. If you're trying to game on your lonesome, then the Vita is for you. But if you're trying to game with the fam or the boys at home, then the Switch is the winner. The Switch is the all-around winner right here. And now back to the left side, the DSi against the Game Boy Advance SP. Uh, I don't know what to choose. These two are very nostalgic and hold great memories, but I'm gonna have to go with the DSi. Back to the right side is the Switch versus the Asus Roji Ally. If you want the power of a PC in the palm of your hands, then this one is your go-to choice. But what if I want to play Mario Kart with my grandchildren? Obviously, the ROG Ally is the superior device, but this one comes down to preference. For this one, we have to base it off of the true capability and power, so the ROG Ally is winning this one partner. Oh, crap. This is a very unfair face-off with the Nintendo DSi and Asus ROG Ally. This is like comparing the power of Unicron to Bumblebee. Sorry, not sorry, B. And there it is. The king of all gaming handhelds is the Asus ROG Ally. I didn't expect that one to win on Honestly, but wow. Me either, partner. But now it's time for member shout outs. Shout out to Ronald Macias, Money Dynamic Matanya, Hamster World, Barbecue Dion Boli, Yahav the Bowling Smasher, Tech Destroyer, Cross. Latura Coleman, Rugrats Fan 08, Combo Brent 101, Cosmic Ferret. I think everything is slightly whack. Minimenter 17, Donald the Big, Met Crusader, a normal green slime. Jacob Randall, Cody Lewis, Sitting Frog, Prince Glenn Moran, Infinite, Ray the Awesome Dude, Andrew Jones, My Guy Lowell, Hello, Josh Jackson, Melanie Elrod, Blake Day Wombat, Kyler Malin, Donald Trump, and Gabe Dudas too for becoming our fantastic channel members. More shout outs to Alpha Diamond, Brown Sugar, Albert Muhair, Nostalgia Network, Riz Escape Landscaping Service, The Homelander, Beardozer, Will Zoller, The MCM, Fox Ate My Dinner, Makoto 13, Christy Hoyas, and Joe Biden as Stinky Trump 24 for being our phenomenal channel members. Even more shout outs to Yolchin 1864, Johnny Snake Shoulders, Antonio Aponte, your average Dragon Ball Z fan, Camden, Maximilian Plays, Kyle Warwick Matthew, Arrow 73, Arapentidos Y Convertidos, Zargica, Hunter Thompson, the Moe Mechanic, Darth Vader versus Luke Skywalker, Sox and Archangel 98 for being our glorious channel members. And finally, shout outs to Gaming Dragoon, Quickscope Cooper, Animations Guy, Winter, SRF, Smelly Boomer, Brandon Ayala, Amper Sandler, Omnilude, Joe V 1998, Basilisk, Dominic Camis, Dragon Ball D, President's Discord Chats, V Ricochet, Mevins 2001, Fabian Moans, Jordan Arness, The Gilder 7111 Media Fan 50, Spectre and Alex Ovando for supporting us even further by being the President's Best Channel members. I am Optimus Prime, and I sent this message to all non-members of the President's Discord server to consider joining the Alliance to become one of us. We are here. 
We are waiting.